Welcome, I'm Grinnin, and this has been Buster, where I buy, watch, and review budget bit movies for you. Today's movie is set against the backdrop of a decaying Midwestern town, where a murder becomes the focal point of three people's lives who work at the doll factory. That movie is none other than Bubble. By Steven Soderbergh. Yes, the Hollywood director Steven Soderbergh filmed this movie that you can find at the dollar store for a dollar tree for a dollar. Uh, like I'll, usually, I'll give you the good, bad, and my thoughts on this movie as well as the overall rating in a little bit. But first, this movie is an indie film feel from a big Hollywood director, like I said, Steven Soderbergh. From the late 90s to early 2000s, he was everywhere in Hollywood. Who's Who of Hollywood went and actually did movies with him. This was a little experiment he wanted to do. And some say this experiment didn't work out in his favor because Hollywood kind of said, you're not doing films anymore for us after that. You don't really see much from him anymore. The no named locals were used to cast this with an improvised script. Yes, that's how much of an experiment this movie was. The setting, like I said, these are not actors. These are real people going to and from their day jobs, working at a doll factory. Yes, the sets were their actual houses. Where's the actual factory where these people worked? Doing this allows for a more authentic feel of this area. And usually films set in middle America like this are usually belittling us. Yes, I'm from the Midwest myself. And they're usually be like, oh, look, these people are so poor, they don't know what to do. Oh, they are all farmers. We're not all farmers. And we all don't work at factories. But this was a realistic account of what we go through. Pretty much who are just normal people. The two main characters in here are friends. And they befriend a new girl. And the male, be and the male friend begins to like her. Thus forming a love triangle. Where the new girl gets murdered. The neurotic love triangle that emerges in this film is wonderfully dark and comedic. From, her, from the assembly of, of the dolls in the factory to simple lunch break conversations, everything has a seated, underlying element of humanity that is both jocular and haunting. Yes. The casting person for this film said so, uh, to Soderbergh sent her to find actors as she was going through a drive through the main actress in here was found at that drive-thru. She was the manager there talking to some kid. She liked the way, the casting director liked the way she talked. She was hired. Ko Hugh, who was the writer of this movie, wrote an outline for the script. For each scene, the actors were told where to start, the main points to hit, and where to end. They improvised everything else in between. Which makes me wonder if this experiment really was an experiment or was Sonnenberg's way of saying hey look you can do a movie this way when the male leads mom shows up to fill in for the factory she's referred to as Kyle's mom <laughs> but not by a real, real name that made me laugh they just said oh it's Kyle's mom <laughs> oh and by the way this movie is only 74 minutes long yeah that's an hour and 14 minutes 74 minutes long that's it now, it's time for the bads. Although this movie is 74 minutes, it does take a while for the plot to pick up. I understand getting to know the characters in a movie like this, but with just a movie just a little bit over an hour long, the exposition needed to be sped up really quick. 50 minutes of the 74 are used to build up the story. It's to use to build up the characters. You probably could have done that in less of the time, maybe 35 minutes of the movie. You could set it up that way. I understand what he was going with, but in my opinion, that was a little bit too long in a 60 in a 74 minute movie. The other bad part of the, about this movie is that they, they don't show the murder. They just talk about it. But to the astute eyes, the clues are thrown in throughout the entire movie where even you guys can figure it out. Because I know I did. All the clues are in there. You just have to keep your eye out for them. This movie actually kind of surprised me. People are saying it was horrible. I can see why they say that. It has a very indie film, if, film feel. If you're not into indie films, yeah, then this movie is not for you. If you like Steven Soderbergh, this movie is for you. However, 
I kind of enjoy this film. Is it a good film? In some ways, yes, with the humanity aspect of the characters and feeling that these are real people because they are real people. But the bad, but for me, it takes away from the fact that the plot took more than half the movie to set up. Yeah, that took it away from me. What do I rate this? I rate this... I mean, it's not that bad. I rated it two and a half stars out of five. I actually have it in my notes actually less than that. But in doing this video and re-watching it again, I kind of agree with my 2.5 rating for this movie. Like I said, it's not a big blockbuster and it's not Howard the Duck. <laughs> it's a good indie film done by a real Hollywood director. Is it worth the dollar to buy? It is. In my opinion, it is. It's going on my shelf. I ain't getting rid of this movie. Will I watch it again? Possibly. Possibly not. I have so many movies, sometimes I forget what I've watched and what I haven't watched. <laughs> That's how it is. But anyways, thanks for watching. Sound down them below. What's your favorite Steven Silverberg film? Yes, you might have to look that up. But we'll contact, we'll really talk about that down below. And while you're down there, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit the bell notification for more videos like this. Hey, look. It's another Dollar Tree store rental. Maybe I, maybe I could get more Dollar Tree movies and do them for you. Maybe I'll have a month full of Dollar Trees. I don't, that would be something interesting. A month full of Dollar Trees. And as always, remember... If Bubbles your cup of tea, you need to buy this movie, make it a movie night, and to remember to dive right in.